Love those. Miniatures, yeah, about 20 of those hit the spot. No, not, well, they were kind of foamy in the mouth. I didn't like those two, but mini eggs. Yeah, oh, yeah, that was my favorite. Hashtag get rid of the minis. Bring on the big ones. Those I could do without. Yeah, same. You can get those all year round. Don't turn me on. Now we're in my department. Peanut <laughs> butter, anything. I wonder if we're triggering anybody. No, you can get those any time of the year. No, we already saw those. Move on, please. Really? No, I don't think so. Oh, how tempting is all that? How tempting is all of that? Where are the bunnies? There we go, right there. They are. That's the treat right there. Okay, are you putting your boots and shoes on and heading to the department store to fill up your basket full of Easter treats? Are you triggered by Easter candy? Why is it okay to have a seven pound chocolate Easter bunny at Easter when some people feel guilty having a two ounce, four ounce chocolate bar? Well, it's called emotions. And it's the emotions that make you wanna eat that. There's a lot of emotions in chocolate and candy, particularly seasonal, particularly religious candy. I say that loosely because it's a holiday, religious holiday, but there's that connection that we give food and we love food. And But today, today's show is brought to you by two words, John. Show them when you see them. No, say them when you see them. The first word. <laughs> bye bye The second word is proxy. We're cutting back the keys today. Hello, everybody. My name is Michael Lozier. I'm a certified emotion code practitioner. We are live here every Saturday morning, 9 o'clock Pacific time, 12 noon Eastern. I'm in beautiful Victoria, BC, coming to you live this morning. And John, good morning. Let people know who you are. Good morning. Yes, I'm from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. My name is John Inverarity and yeah, certified emotion code and certified body code practitioner. Always having a good time here Saturday morning doing these yeah. bro shows. Yeah. Well, today, John, uh, you know, we're cutting back on the keys. There's only one key that you need to know about sitting at home or in your car on the way to you know where to get you know what's is that we want to be your proxy. What does that mean, John? What's a proxy? Well, we're, uh, we're acting on your behalf. So we're, we're actually um, filling in, the practitioner will be filling in uh, muscle testing on the client's behalf, muscle testing and doing the emotion code uh, for the client. That's right. Yeah. You know, it's not, people say, oh, I've got a sweet tooth. No, you don't have a sweet tooth. You have a trapped emotion. This is the new sweet tooth right here. Hey, Misty, give me a new hashtag, call it. Trapped emotions are the new sweet tooth. This right here is the reason why you're triggered to want to have chocolate and marshmallows and Rice Krispie treats and all those other, oh, let me, don't, I won't, let me, Peeps. Hey, we didn't see Peeps in that little video. My ex favorite Halloween or Easter candy is Peeps. Oh, I got a sweet tooth. No, you got some trapped emotions going on. So the word trapped emotions comes from the work of our talented friend, Dr. Bradley Dr. Nelson. Dr. Bradley Nelson. This powerful book. The Emotion Code. Shout out, Dr. Brad. Tell us about that, John. Yeah, so Dr. Brad wrote the book called The Emotion Code. There's a seminar called The Emotion Code, and it is an energy healing technique where we identify trapped emotions, these unprocessed emotions from past negative event that's contributing to your sugar cravings, chocolate cravings, candy, right. food, pain, insomnia, We could even headaches. use the word trigger. There's something that triggers yeah. that. It's a stored trapped emotion that triggers that. Maybe there was love associated with giving you that Hershey's peanut butter cup or whatever. We don't Absolutely. know. Absolutely. But Get we'll from find mom out. Or dad. Yeah. Oh, we'll find out. We will find out which one of these 60 trapped emotions are causing you to go to bed with the Easter cream eggs and wake up with just the wrapper. So, John, tell people what we're looking for today because we're going to get right to work today as soon as we find some volunteers. Who are we looking, looking for? Yeah, we're looking for volunteers who have a specific uh, Easter candy craving or addiction. And, uh, yeah, we need you to say, yes, that's me. Uh, let us know in the comments. Give us a little context of how many how big your chocolate bunny is or how many bags of Easter candy you have or 
what Maybe the severity you, is, you know, the severity, I, yeah. you know, when Easter rolls around, I'm combing Walmart for the, the peeps in January. Okay, you're addicted then. We use the word addiction, uh, and it doesn't have to be serious addiction, just be a trigger. You know, we can use the word trigger as well. Mm -hmm. John, let's go say hello to our friends. And uh, as we're doing that, um, remind people about what we did last week. It was kind of a special episode. It was. It was... Um... Repetitive rituals. That's right. Or like, yeah, obsession. So yeah, um, doing the same thing over and over again. And so we we're, we helped out, um, was it one people or two people? I don't remember. But yeah, you helped out a girl who was running circles in her backyard. That's right. We want to hear from her mom today. Give us an update mm -hmm. about that repetitive ritual. Yeah. Yes. And um, yeah, so we, yeah, we did the emotion code on that, that child. And um, actually, I, I did hear an update from her. And she's not doing the same loop. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's not doing the same loop. And she's so she's I mean, she's still running around in the backyard. But she's she's doing other things. So she's she's not she doesn't have the path that well. That's pretty path. good for like a six minute session. You know, yeah. obviously, there's going to be more work there. It's a long ingrained trapped emotion. And we cleared some of it last week. Yeah. And also last week we did something was kind of like one of our most popular questions. John and I manage a Facebook group and uh, I'll have Delilah put the link into the Facebook group. We want you to join the Facebook group. It's another way to stay connected with us. About once a week I go in and do a little quickie live just for that Facebook group users. And um, although we don't teach the emotion code, there are things about the process that people are curious about. And one of them is... Um, muscle testing. A lot of people mm. are struggling with muscle testing. And muscle testing is what we use to become your proxy. And muscle testing is a way to communicate to your body to say, let me know when I found the right little bugger. That means when I found the right trapped emotion. So we did a little 10 minute training lesson last week. If you want to watch that video, it is out inside the Michael Loge Hangout Emotion Code Room. Look for the link, join. And uh, right after the show today, I'll give you access. You have to ask to be added to that. Yeah, I'll so, put it in there right now as well. Okay, great. So we've got Misty Anderson that joined us first thing this morning. I think she was number one. Giving us a good morning. NPS, Natasha, Natasha Paula, Paula Samuel, Samuel saying good morning. She's from Romford, Natasha. Essex. And she's looking forward to today's show. And Misty, mm -hmm. of course, gave us a hashtag emotion code bros. And Thanks. where's my peeps? Where's my peeps? Who else, John? Hey, Susan Arthur. Hi, Susan. Still poorly in my bed, but so pleased to be with the bros watching you live. Happy Easter. Okay, we'll get well soon, Susan. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Paul says, Happy Easter. Evangelist. Paul Evangelist. That's a new name. Hey, Paul, happy Easter. Hey, Sweet Paul Clemens. Evangelist. Happy Easter to you without the food. Well, maybe you can have the food. Maybe a little you know, bit. When eight of those Easter cream eggs hit the spot, you know, you need an EC session, an emergency EC session. But I can say bye-bye to the Easter cream eggs now. Yeah. Hey, Tweet Clements. Uh, no candy this year for her two boys, just Rice Krispie treats. Okay. Our friend Kelly Carson's joined us from BC. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, Kelly gave me a hashtag. Hashtag Magic Michael. Hey, hey. Again, if you're watching live, we want to hear from you. What is your Easter candy trigger? The one that you see, it, you buy it double on sale, you say yes when you're offered, you eat it till it's gone, you hide it in your purse, you don't share it with anybody, and you're off to Walmart or another grocery store to buy it when you see it. Is that you? Let us know, because we want to rid you. We want to help you say a good old bye-bye to that Easter treat. John, who else is saying what? Sylvia Bellini. Hello. Oh, weather update. It's sunny now in London. Looking forward to a great show. That's great. Much better than yesterday. It was a little bit foggy and rainy and gloomy in, in London. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Barbara Rowing, also from the UK. She says, good evening from the hey, sunny Barbara, UK. Hey, Barbara. Good morning. Hey, Barbara. Yeah. Rajesh. Hello, Michael, sir. John, sir. Hey, Rajesh from Rajesh Mumbai, from... India. Welcome. We have Helena. So uh, if you live in beautiful Vancouver Island, you're looking for somewhere to go today, how about heading to Duncan, BC? It's a nice little farming village. <laughs> they probably don't like that I call it that, farm no. village. No. It's, it's a city, right? Would Duncan be a city? Yeah, yeah, it's a city of Duncan. Yeah. Yes, yes. There's no skyscrapers there, but I'm doing two emotion code presentations there with Helena. And it's very likely that we're gonna go live today at 3.30 Pacific time, 6.30 Eastern. 
again, we got to check out the lighting and, you know, we have a lot of people coming. So it, we might be saying this. Could you please keep the emergency exits clear, please? Oh, keep the that. emergency exits clear. Love that sound. Oh, <laughs> my favorite sound ever, ever. Okay, John, who else? Hey, hey, uh, Corrine Beach Murray. Hey, Corrine. Cor yeah, I think she's from Alberta. Giving us a good. Minus 45 or something like that in Alberta. Uh, Leslie Marshall, Snickers and Jelly Bellies are my downfall. Belly. What's a jelly belly? Oh, there are those jelly beans. Jelly beans, the gourmet ones, the decadent gourmet jelly beans. Ones. She's yeah. saying she wants to get rid of those? Oh, I'm not too sure. She says Snickers and Jelly Bellies are my downfall. But Kareem um, Beach Murray, I mean, if, if you're just letting us know that you're favorites, you don't want us to touch it because they will say goodbye bye. So Kareem Birch Beach Murray. No, 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 it was Leslie. Leslie no, Marshall. but I'm saying here, Kareem's saying oh. peanut butter eggs. Are you okay. telling us that? Are you asking for a clearing? So uh, you can work with Leslie if Leslie confirms. And Corinne, or Corinne, if you want to let me know that you would like to get rid of peanut butter eggs, because this is like an auction. You can't scratch your head because you just bought it. Oh, no, scratch. No, you just bought it. So if you're going to wave your hands high in the air and say peanut butter eggs, Corinne Beach Murray, then I can help you get rid of those, but I need your permission and your clarity. Peanut butter eggs, I'm gonna give you a like there, okay. Okay, yeah, Leslie, again with Snickers and Jelly Bellies. Snickers and Jelly Bellies. Kelly Carson, our friend, saying, someone put a peanut butter little egg thingy on my plate at work. I have to admit I ate it, but when he offered me another, I turned it down. Thanks to the emotion code, it wasn't as good as it used to be. Yeah, so you tried it. You didn't like it. Misty's saying, hashtag, emotions can't hide from the bows, bros. She also gave us a hashtag, trapped emotions are the new sweet tooth. <laughs> you know, I just made that up on the spot. Like, I own that, okay? Oh, we got yeses. Corrine Beach Murray says, clearing would be good. Reese be gone. Leslie Marshall says, yes. Let's get rid of the craving. Okay. Green says, please remove peanut butter eggs. And Helena is saying, Duncan is a small city. The tallest building is four stories, but it has the best organic farms. You know what? I think on Vancouver Island, we have the best soil in Canada. So we have some of the best organic farms. And we are giving the presentation today in an organic market upstairs in this organic market. Helena, can you type in all that information for our friends that want to go for a drive today? I'm kind of excited. You know, I live in Victoria. It's on the su southernmost tip. I'm at I'm a mile away from the southernmost tip of the island. So when you want to go for a drive, you're only going one way up. So I get to drive for an hour today, which is an extreme long drive for me. I know some people take an hour to go to work. If somebody invites me and it takes me more than 15 minutes, they live far away in Victoria. So the thought that I'm going to be on the highway <laughs> for an hour today, I am thrilled. I even, I even put a special CD together so I can listen to it in the car. I'm thrilled about my long drive today for an hour <laughs> to go to a new city. Okay, John, uh, getting started, we're each going to take lots of water because that really helps with the emotion code uh, testing, the proxy yep. work. And we each have a magnet with us, so the magnet's going to delete the emotion when I find it. I have the list in front of me, so I'll go first. And uh, so right now I'm just checking to see if I'm hydrated enough. I'm muscle testing right now. You can watch last week's video to find that. Yes, I'm hydrated enough. So I'm just checking with Kareen Beach Murray. She's with me right now. She's giving me permission. There we go. Am I Kareen Smith? No. I'm Kareen Beach Murray. Am I Michael? No, I'm Kareen Beach Murray. There we go. So I'm fully connected. That means I'm her proxy. With her permission, I can now check into her subconscious mind and ask these questions. Subconscious mind, I'm talking about peanut butter eggs. You know, the peanut butter. Oh, yeah, you know the ones I'm talking about. What is my addiction to? My craving of? Eat them when I see them, eat them when I'm gone, hide them in my purse, buy them double on sale, don't share them with anybody, say yes when I see them, fill my cart with them, get them at the checkout counter, got to have them when I see them, have them when they're on TV, peanut butter eggs. What is my severity of that addiction? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
No judgment, but that's pretty severe. So my, me being Kareem's addiction to the peanut butter cream eggs is that. What trapped emotion is causing that? Is it A, B, even, even, two, four, six, prime? It's shock. So it is the trapped emotion of shock. I'm just going to, I found it. Now I'm deleting the trapped emotion of shock. Is there another one? A, B, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. It's wishy-washy. There, we get rid of our second trapped emotion that's causing the peanut butter egg addiction. Okay, is there any hidden? Because there's no more trapped ones. See how easy this is? No, really, see how easy this is? Okay, is there hidden ones? There's two of them. Is wishy-washy hidden trapped emotion? In other words, some of it was left behind. And I bet you the next one's going to be shock. I'm going, to, I'm going to test it. Is shock hidden? It is. Okay. John, why don't you get started with yours? And I'm just going to finish some more work here with Kareem. Yeah, I'm going to work on Leslie Marshall. And it was Snickers and Jelly Bellies. <clears throat> okay, so I'll just connect up Leslie Marshall. So get a good connection here. Yeah, so muscle testing. My muscle testing looks funny just like all muscle testing. So I loop the pinky and the thumb, left hand, and then ring, ring finger, thumb, right hand. And I put these in the loop and pull them apart. So together is a yes. And when they just sort of slide a little bit, it's a no. <clears throat> okay, so good connection here. Connect up, Leslie Marshall. So I do have a good connection and proxy. All right, so we got Snickers and Jelly Bellies. Now, I'm craving. still working here, John, because I found yeah. five more trapped emotions, yeah. but they were prenatal, which meant while Kareem was in her mother's womb, oh, you think this is weird? Wait till you hear this story. I'm just going to, I'm going to finish up here. Just wait. Sure. Am I done? Yes. What is the severity of my addiction to, my craving of, got to have them when I see them, take them when they're offered, buy them double on sale, peanut butter, cream eggs. Is it 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Lock it in. It's a zero. Okay, I'm just going to disconnect from Corinne. So I found five prenatal trapped emotions. So while she was in her mother's womb between the ages of five and six, she absorbed these from her mom or her dad or her siblings. And I don't know, maybe her mother had a little Easter candy feed when she was pregnant. You never know. Yeah, but I, I found prenatal. Five of them. And they're usually quite significant in my, in my history of doing this. So Corinne Beachmer, you can hold your head up high and you can give a big old... Bye bye, bye bye to the peanut butter egg any time of the year. My first emotion is prenatal as well. Really? Yeah, it's prenatal resentment. Magnet gone. Bye bye resentment. That's cleared. Yeah. Okay, let's keep going here. I'm just going to do it in my head. Okay. You can do that, John. I'm going to go out and see who else. So, Corrine's giving me a thank you. She was, um, so Helena's saying it's, this is at the community farm store in Duncan today. We're at one o'clock, 3.30. We're giving a, instead of being in the bros, it's going to be Helena and I doing what John and I do, describing the keys, doing, bringing people to the front of the room, removing their pain. Misty's saying, I'm so grateful I don't have to travel for work. Sorry, travel for an hour or more to work. Sheldon Foster's in the house. Good morning, Sheldon. Sylvia's conflicted. Really? Really, Sylvia Bellini? I'm conflicted here. My daughter and I work for a lovely chocolate company which produces lovely hand-painted eggs, so please remove all the mass-produced chocolates you like. Sorry, Sylvia, there'll be a spillover. There'll be a spillover. I've tried to help people with that before. They wanted to get rid of red, like red wine and now they don't drink at all, right? Or they wanted to get rid of toast only and now they don't even have bread or bagels. So if I work on mass produced chocolate, then it's gonna spill out to all the areas. So Sylvia, so just enjoy the chocolate that you're enjoying. The tweet gets, uh, that's funny. My drive to work is an hour and I get my music ready too. I'm not really a podcast listener. Although we highly, re 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 we highly recommend you listen to the bros in your car. <laughs> Shout out to the podcast listeners. 
Yeah, hey, podcast listeners. Sylvie's got her alarm set tonight at 11.30 p.m. Hopefully, we're going to be doing that uh, Facebook Live. That's what yeah. she's looking for. So, uh, she said, uh, I'll be wedged between the potatoes and the onions at the farm shop in Duncan. You will be. The organic potatoes. Yeah, they'll be organic potatoes. Today, they, I'm on their Facebook page today. They were uh, advertising red bananas from Mexico. Really? Yeah, I don't know what that means, but. Never seen a red banana, and I worked in a produce department for like a decade. Well, this is in Duncan at an organic store. Yeah. You, you worked at a big grocery store chain. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know what they are. I don't know, Captain Obvious. Maybe they're red. You know, maybe they're a red banana. I wonder how many variations of bananas there are. Anyways, I'm going to continue on here with Leslie. Let's I know when that. I was in uh, Malaysia, they have little fingerling bananas. They're just like little tiny things. Yeah, absolutely. 30 of those at the spot. 30. <laughs> uh, Caroline Midgley is here. Delicious Rogers chocolate, especially maple and raspberry. You know, I'm not fond of the raspberry. I can take raspberry in small doses. Oh, really? So love Caroline, raspberry. are you telling us you love them? Or are you looking for a session? I think she's looking for a session because. Oh, Barbara gave us a link to the red bananas. Thanks, Barbara. I'm going to educate myself on the red banana. <clears throat> now, if you live in Vancouver Island or even in BC, I think you'd get Rogers chocolates anywhere. I have to walk by Rogers chocolates because I don't live far. I think they have a fan in the kitchen that blows it out on the streets. And it's like $4 for a little chocolate. Hashtag it's, don't go there anymore. It's every time. Hashtag sorry, Rogers yeah. chocolate. Four blocks away. Okay, know. Caroline Midgley, I'm going to connect with you. If you don't want me to get rid of those, resist the connection. Otherwise, bye bye, Rogers. Bye bye, Rogers. Okay, I have Caroline Midgley. Let's see if I have her permission to do this. Oh, I do. So she's watching. So am I Caroline Smith? No. Am I Caroline, Caroline Midgley? I am. So I'm asking my subconscious mind about the high-end, expensive Rogers chocolates. You know, the maple and raspberry ones. Oh, yeah, my subconscious mind knows those well. What is my addiction to, my habit of, my craving of, my insistent of? Um, buy them when I see them. Buy them when I smell them. Buy them when I'm on the ferry. Buy them when I'm at all stores because they're everywhere. What is my addiction to this habit? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What's causing it? A, B, two, four, six. Pride. It's shock. Another shock. Okay, releasing the shock that's creating this addiction to the maple and raspberry Roger chocolates. Is there another trapped emotion? A, B, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Hey, it's the same ones. It is wishy-washy. Do I need to know more? So I'm releasing the trapped emotion of wishy-washy. Okay, no more. Okay, I'm all done for Leslie. Okay, why don't you give us an update on that? Yeah, so I got a zero. It started at an eight. And the emotions that I cleared, I wrote them down here, Leslie. Uh, just so you know, so it's resentment. Uh, that was prenatal, and then cleared dread, depression, insecurity, rejection, frustration, unsupported, and bitterness. So good little batch there. It's all gone. Batch. Hashtag batch. Yeah. Little batch. It's like a little batch of eggs. Just a, <laughs> a dozen or so. Oh, Elaine Goldman just joined. Says hello, everyone. Hey, Elaine. Elaine Diet Coke Goldman. Got rid of that for Diet her. Coke no more. Diet Coke no more, no. Alan Davidson's, Davidson says no more bye-bye, <laughs> it's bye-bye. Yeah, it's bye-bye. Okay, I'm going to check in with Caroline here. Before today's session, which took two minutes in case you're timing, you Miss D. Anderson, before today's session, what was the severity of my addiction to Roger's chocolates? You know, the rainbow raspberry ones the high-end expensive ones where they blow the smell on the street. So what was my addiction, craving, lust, interest, got to have it when I see it? 
Roger's Chocolates, was it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Lock it in when it is. It's a 10. Now, is it a 10? Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, Corinne Beach Murray. Or sorry, uh, Caroline Midgley. You can say goodbye to that. Am I done? Do I need to do more? Okay, I'm going to disconnect. So I'm going to make a couple points here. John, you're going to, uh, the same thing. So I have a, a three 30-minute weight loss program. And, and we meet, it's one-on-one. -on -one. I used to do it in a group, but some people were shy. So I put it into three 30-minute uh, calls. And in those three 30-minute calls, you bring over the three 30-minute calls, we do them probably two or three days, you bring at least 10 food items because you saw how fast it is. But it's not just getting rid of the food items or the food habits. I'm going to work on all your beliefs about that. Is it okay to be thin? Is it okay to have my ideal body? Do I deserve it? Am I worthy of it? Um, and then I'm also going to find out what is your goal weight? You don't need to tell me. You just need to know what in your head. And then I'm going to find out, do I believe I can reach my goal weight? Am I worthy? Is it safe? Do I believe it? And then I'm going to find out what are the trapped emotions that are causing me to go over my goal weight? Then we're going to find out what your calorie count should be. And then we're going to ask your subconscious mind, what's causing me to go over... Listen, it's a very robust program. It's three half-hour sessions for $300. I know that you know that I know that some of you are spending that already, going to the gym and getting the, the, the smoothies and the shakes and the, the diet pills or whatever you're taking. Do yourself a favor. Get it cleared forever. So John and I are both available to help you. Today we did the food demo. It took two minutes. Imagine ridding yourself of 10 to 15 food items forever. Plus, I work on all the anxiety because there's a lot of anxiety about food. Oh, the anxiety yeah. about where am I going to eat? The anxiety when there's no food. I have a friend. I know he's watching. He has anxiety in the morning about the next day's food. He knows well, what he's having for dinner the next day. Like, he's always talking about, oh, i got to have enough food in the house. He's work So these are all trapped emotion related. So, so we're going to look forward to hearing from Carolyn next week. Kareem Beach Murray and your Jelly Belly friend. Leslie Marshall, yeah. Leslie Marshall. She says, Rhonda thank Elliott you. saying good morning from Ontario. Hey, Rhonda Elliott, good morning. Hey, hey. Suzanne Darnell from Vancouver, she's giving us a shout out. Elise Shockey is saying hello. Hey, Elise. Hey, Elise, yeah. Christy Fitzpatrick says hello from Georgia. Hey, good morning, Georgia. Yeah, Leslie says, thank you, John. I got a little emotional during this. I guess I'm sad to see them go. LOL. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hashtags, cry me a river. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, everyone processes differently, you know? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Some people go for a nap. Some people might get a little ticked off during the day. Yeah, some people feel a little disoriented. Uh, absolutely. It's like surgery, right? You're actually removing these energies from people. So you do need a little rest after a session. So yeah, just be aware that there's some emotional ups and downs after a session. Drink more water. Go easy on yourself. Yeah. yeah. Now, Barbara Rowling has a good point, and she's actually confirming something that I thought about myself and other people that I'm working with, because I'm working with a lot of people with weight loss. Mm -hmm. She said prenatal, that's trapped emotions you absorb when you're in the room. She said, that's how cravings and overweight runs in the family. And you know what? The first time that I did mine, I had 60. Pre I had 60. How many is on the chart, John? That's all of them. All of them! Because my whole family was fat, particularly the men. And my mother, even till this day, is obsessed with watching her weight and losing weight. And yeah, she's the same mother that made homemade bread every day. Yum. Because my dad insisted on it. If my mother tried to serve my dad like soup and salad, you know what he'd say? Hey, that's just a promise that real food's coming. Yeah. <laughs> like you didn't feed Cedric, my dad. You wouldn't feed Cedric soup and salad. That was a snack. My mother made a turkey once a week. She made a roast beef. So we had food, and she was also the queen of making fudge. Oh, man. Oh, yes. Oh. And, and not with the blender. She used her arm to beat that fudge, I'll tell you that. And whenever there was something going on, they would say, Edith, could you make your fudge? Well, she was some proud of that. What the fudge? What the fudge is, hashtag, what the fudge is going on? One time, and she also made, 
I, I don't even know if anybody knows what these are. They were called clover rolls, where she made her own bread. So she would take little, little balls of dough and put three of them in like a cupcake pan, and they, they would write, and then you'd, you'd tear off, it would turn into a clover bun, right? Oh, yeah. Well, she was so famous for that. I know she's not <laughs> watching. One time, in, one time she had, there was something at the church when I went to church when I was younger. Um, the priest called her out and said, oh, yes, and Mrs. Loge's clover buns, they were so delicious yesterday. Well, she was proud of that. I oh, bet made her day. Edith Lozier and her clover buns. Yeah, that's why we're all fat. So a little sidebar, Barbara, but you're right. I had a lot of prenatal trapped emotions. I bet you my parents talked about, well, even when I was born, they talked about food, but I bet you my mother was pregnant. That was a conversation. And John, you taught me that it's also absorbing from my brothers and sisters. So, yep. you know, it wasn't just my, my parents that were having conversations and challenges. Yeah. It was my brothers and sisters. So yep. thank you, Barbara, for um, <laughs> telling me that. I like hearing that. Yeah. She loves the name Cedric, too. Yeah. Um, uh, Suzanne's saying, oh, did she like the name Cedric? It's a really rare name, Cedric, like Cedric the Entertainer, C-E-D-R-I-C. Yeah. yeah. That was my dad's name. My mother's name is Edith. And they were both French. Uh, I'm going to tell you a quick little story about my parents. I lived, I, lived in, I lived in St. John, New Brunswick. It was the only bilingual province in Canada. A lot of people think Quebec is bilingual, but it's not. It's, New Brunswick is the only province that's officially bilingual. And my parents lived in the north before they were parents. They were, you know, Edith and Cedric. They lived northern New Brunswick, and they both moved to St. John, which is a southern tip, to go to work. And my mother was a candy striper. Do you even know what that is, John? Yeah, yeah, in the hospitals, right? Yeah, she worked in yeah. the hospital. Yeah. And my dad worked at a pump mill, and he cut his thumb. So he went to the hospital, and nobody spoke French because the top half of New Brunswick was French, and the bottom half was English. So my parents, who were very French, um, lived in an English part, so they had to find somebody who was French, and it was my mother. So my parents met in the hospital. Isn't nice. that sweet? It is. Yeah. Came to save the day. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I had a lot of fun today. It was. Yeah, yeah great story, story too. too. Now, next Saturday, John, I am in Victoria, but we're not doing a show next week. No show. Next week, I'm doing a full-day seminar on Saturday, April 7th, and it starts at 9, so obviously I'm not going to do a show that week, but that's okay. We've got stuff cooking for the future. If you want to come to Victoria, you live in Victoria, you can go to, here's the web address, Law of Attraction Victoria. Spend the whole day with me, the whole day with me. Yeah. And you can learn how to master law of attraction. We're going to have worksheets and processes, and, and you will learn the three-step formula so you can attract anything on one subject. And then when you go home, you will know it so well that you'll be able to teach it to your friends and families and colleagues so you're all attracting great things in your life. Now, John, do you know what we're doing the week after, or do you want me to look at the list? I don't have a list in front of me. I think okay. it was well, nerve pain, wasn't it? Or? Yeah, the, the industry calls it diabetic nerve pain. Uh, or it also could be called restless legs. You know, people that they move their, they have to keep moving their legs when they're in bed or diabetic nerve pain, tingling on their feet. In my experience, it's all caused by trapped emotions. So we will figure that out for you. And the date of that show is April 14th. Then on April 21st, we're doing business blocks. Do you Love it. blocks to money and customers and opportunities and getting referrals? Yeah, you do. So we're going to be looking for that. And the week after, it's the good old money blocks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I think what we're going to do there, John, is that we are going to find out what people's scarcity consciousness is. And scarcity consciousness mm -hmm. is a vibration. It means you're putting out this vibe of being scarce or that everything's scarce. So if that's Gotta the vibe you're that. that's what you're going to be getting. Yeah. Scarcity and lack. Get rid of that. Uh, Susan Arthur is saying, it's so funny to see my parents' name on here. Cedric and Edith are great British names. Well, now that I'm telling you stories, the name Lozier, which is very French from France, but I, my parents were Canadian, the word Lozier was the person who shingled roofs, roof, you know, roof, roofing shingles, and they were called Lozier's, and they were from France, so. Huh. Yeah, I know. I know too much. I bet you're not scared of heights then, hey? That's probably genetic. That's why you live so far, so you can live so high up in your buildings. Yes. 
Okay, so, uh, our friend Ashley, uh, Elise is saying, thanks for saying that what runs in the families is what they eat, not that diabetes runs in families or heart disease runs in the family. No, it's what they eat. We tend to eat the same thing generation after generation. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. The tweet, Clevens is saying, hashtag, what the fudge? Yeah. What the fudge? Alan Davidson, hey, Alan. Hello from Western Pennsylvania. I always want to go to Pennsylvania. I'm obsessed with the Amish. Did you know that about me? I did. Yeah, I love the Amish. Hey, we have an update from Angela. So you worked on uh, Gianna last week, the That's ritual. Right. Should, I'll read it. Yeah, I can't find it. Go ahead. An update from Gianna. From the ritual habit session last week, she is doing much better with the running um, to think habit. Uh, instead of the 40-foot deck running in circles and being spaced out, she is walking in the yard, watching birds, sometimes running um, still, but not in the repetitive path anymore. Uh, she seemed much more contemplative and less spacey as she does. Well, you know what? We're, I think we should extend an invitation for you to book a half-hour session. And because uh, if I did that much work in six or seven minutes, now, your daughter doesn't have to be present, just like it was on the show. Your daughter wasn't even on the show last week, but it was at the mother. So the, I connect with the mother, and the mother says, yes, you can work on my daughter or son. And I think we can do a lot more work with her in you know, another 30 minutes. So you can hire John or I. You can go to hangitwithmichael.com forward slash bros. And at the very bottom, you can check out how to do that. Carolyn Midgley saying about her uh, Rogers chocolate, she's saying, I'm sad to see them go. My head is buzzing now. Yeah. That's pretty typical. Some kind of, we call that sensation. It's not a pain, but it's a buzzing or people feel lightness or they feel a wash go over their body. There's lots of different names that we use for that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Something's happening. Yeah. Something. Moving. We're confident Susan that's Arthur something. Susan Arthur says, I could literally listen to you all day, Michael. Oh, gather around the campfire, story time with Michael. Listen, you can do that. I've got, well, first I've got 250 hangout shows from Fridays, and then whatever episode we're on today with the Bro Show. It's very fun. Thank you, Susan Arthur. 43. Yeah. Barbara says she's okay. I will be up for the scarcity consciousness one. Yeah, it's a good, you know, I also do a money program, three 30 minute sessions, and we, we were, that's one of the first things we do. We find out what people's scarcity consciousness is, and it's all trapped emotions. Yeah. And uh, a lot of it has to do with your parents' trapped emotions. You know, we talk about DNA. This is VNA. It's vibrational NA, <laughs> whatever that stands for. Yeah. Okay, John, I'm just uh, checking. After the show, John and I will go out and uh, answer any questions that we have not answered for you today. And uh, we had a great show today. Thanks for the people stepping forward. Of course, we are going to want to hear from you uh, in future episodes. John, thanks for hanging out with me today. And my goal is today, Facebook Live, you know, I do this presentation right here called the seven keys to the emotion code process. I teach certified facilitators how to deliver this on stage like you and I have. So. I'm going to record today's session and then we're going to put it, add it to this program because this program has lots of videos of me doing presentations. Yep. So we're going to add this one. Because all I need really is good hair, my new expensive pants, and I paid $9.99 for them, a couple magnets, big glass of water, right. and the vibe, the vibe of could we keep the emergency exits clear, please? I love hearing that. Thanks for chilling with me today, John. We had lots of fun as usual, and we'll Thanks. talk to you next week. Early week,